Hello chess friends and welcome to Zarov's chess channel and welcome to my best chess games of all time series. So in this series we're following the best chess games that have been ever played in chess history and today I wanted to show you a real great game played by Alexander Kotov in the 1953 candidates tournament. He played a game against Yuri Averbach with the black pieces and uh, the candidates tournament in 1953 I think was really a great tournament. Uh, here are all the standings of this of this particular tournament. We see that Vasily Smyslov won this very very nice and strong tournament. I I think we had really great grandmasters participating. David, David Bronstein, Samuel Reshevsky, Paul Karras, Tigran Petrosyan, Miguel Nidorf, F.M. Geller, Alexander Kotov, Taimanov, Arbe, Averbach, Boleslavsky, Sabo, Gligorich, Uwe, Stahlberg. Really, uh, wow, this was really something else. I think in chess, uh, it was really a strong candidates tournament. And uh, Alexander Kotov maybe uh, didn't play the best tournament, but uh, this game that I wanted to show you today really deserves to be on this list of the best chess games of all time. Again, with a great, great queen sacrifice. Be prepared. This will be a perfect queen sacrifice with a nice windmill chess tactic. And uh, this, as I said, really deserves to be on this very nice list. So, But before we analyze the game, I wanted to, uh, like usual, show you the best comment. Um, that uh, was written me a couple of days ago here one of my subscribers uh, bj batarai wrote to me uh, strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat awesome video yuzaro uh, so this comment i think uh, was the best uh, for me it's a really really uh, sort of a quote a really great chess quote and uh, uh, thank you again for writing me as i said write some comments write some quotes if you like then uh, i'll show uh, your quotes and your comments in in my videos okay let's see the game uh, as said with the white pieces we had uh, we have yuri averbach against alexander kotov we have first uh, the first move uh, d4 here and uh, kotov responded here with the move knight to f6 we have c4 uh, d6 after knight to f3 knight from b to d7 we have the uh, old indian defense and the old indian defense is really a compact um, compact opening you see the problems for white in this particular opening after knight to c3 we have e5 uh, which is a common idea to crack the position in the center immediately now e4 and what i can tell about this position already is uh, one particular problem always for white first of all uh, you have um play this move c4 and e4 uh, this would be also very important uh, for this game so when you play that okay you have the advantage of space because you have three pawns in the center but there is one problem after a potential d takes uh, pardon me e takes d4 and i don't know you can recapture with the knight uh, you lost a little bit the battle uh, here from for some outposts. So black can always try maybe now outpost on d4. On the other hand, you cannot create an outpost from white's perspective on d5 because uh, black still has the flexibility and can play the move c6. So knight to d5 cannot be played. At least you cannot fix uh, your position around this particular square. On the other hand, if for instance black wins the battle uh, for the d4 square then uh, black could maybe make a uh, make a very nice outpost on d4 because you have as i said already advanced the c4 c and e4 pawn so you cannot uh, protect this d4 anymore by c3 or e3 moves these are uh, just some strategical elements uh, as i said i hope you don't mind for showing also this uh, other elements of this particular opening in the game bishop to e7 simply healthy developing move and now now, bishop to e2 castling and here castling by both sides so nothing special so far and now comes this move c6 which prevents a potential knight to d5 outpost as i said um taking uh, here immediately in this particular position is okay it's the nothing lost but here after knight takes knight to d4 um you cannot kick away the knight here with the move c5 that's the problem uh, then after something like knight to b5 you're uh, you have weakening your d6 pawn okay but uh, it's very good to leave it like this uh not to touch anything so far in in the center leave uh, the position like and waiting uh why to push maybe the pawn here on d5 then you can jump with your knight on c5 and attack the e4 pawn so these are really the main strategical elements of this east indian offense so after castling as said c6 was played and now a queen to c2 we have rook to yegd with the preparation 
to hide a little bit with the bishop because the main weakness in our position in black's position is the weak d6 pawn so you want of course to have a clear clear way here uh for the bishop the bishop is not maybe endangered in some occasions white could try maybe something like bishop to g5 and then taking out the f6 knight if bishop takes then your d6 is weak so as i said i'm maybe complicating a little bit too much but these are also some tactical ideas for white here a uh, rook to d1 was played a good move um by um, uh, yuri Auerbach here uh, getting the rook on the queen and f if the position opens in the center this queen can be endangered by the rook we have bishop to f8 and now rook to b1 if you take uh, d takes e5 here immediately then you get simply d takes e5 not a problem uh, you haven't lost anything because this uh, knight is uh, this pawn is very well protected by the rook so you cannot do this knight to e5 idea so as said rook to b1 was played and this is now uh, white's idea to simply create a pawn majority attack here with the move b4 so that's why uh, black right here a5 this a5 comes uh, with two ideas basically uh, the uh, first idea is to prevent this b4 move immediately so so white cannot get this space advantage with his pawns but the other idea is that we want now finally take out the uh, e takes d5 uh, eight e takes d4 and after knight takes d4 then we could fix our knight on uh, c5 and then this knight again wouldn't be endangered by this potential b4 move so in the game d5 was played and now uh, finally we have a situation that uh, black basically wanted to happen uh, now comes this knight on c5 uh, this is now the main target in, in the position so black will coordinate the attack simply around the potential f5 move we'll try to crack the position here around this e4 square in the game bishop to e3 was played and now uh, we have queen to c7 uh, h3 was played also a common idea uh, preventing some bishop to g4 ideas for instance if you take the the knight here on c5 he seems like a natural move but now we can simply take d takes c5 and after maybe something like d takes c6 uh, uh i would even take here with the pawn not with the queen uh if you for instance take with the queen then of course uh, white would have maybe a good square for the knight here a very nice uh, square d5 uh, get some space advantage so here if after b takes c6 you see we're preventing this knight to d5 idea and still we have the possibility as i said the main problems of the setups of white is this pawn structures the c4 e4 we could try maybe find some kind of a way and get with our knight here on this very very nice square d4 so you see this bishop to uh, c5 idea wouldn't be such a good great idea although you're creating maybe some weaknesses some double pawns but from a strategical point of view i think uh, black has the advantage so after the move uh, as said h3 was played and now we have bishop to d7 uh, rook to c1 now uh, yuri Averbach gets this rook again on this uh, file where the queen is again if the position clears on the c file then the queen again would be endangered in the game g6 was played and now knight to d2 uh, we have rook to b8 with some preparations maybe to push to even the pawn here on b5 so uh, in the game a uh, knight to b3 we have knight takes b3 and now queen to b3 and now very very important move it's uh, really an important positional move it's the move c5 and uh, this move c5 basically solves all the problems uh, for black on the queen side because uh, now uh, we have really everything fixed so white will need many many moves in order to make something happen here on the queen side with some potential a3 b4 moves still queen to c2 so at least three four moves uh, white will need uh, in order to make something happen still, still black and counterplay even with some uh, b5 possibilities if the position allows it so now black has accomplished that uh, basically the only flexible side uh, where we can attack is the king side so now black will try it, the, the attack uh, and black has sort of a, a better coordination on, on the king side black has many pieces here on the king side so now we are searching for this potential f5 move so so in order to make something happen in order to crack the position so here we have king to h2 we have a king to h8 it's the preparation to get our knight on g8 and then finally this move f5 so queen to c2 
uh, also a uh, preventing move where we want to occupy this very very important f5 square we have knight to g8 bishop to g4 also uh, with the idea as i said to prevent this uh, f5 idea by black so in the game knight to h6 we have uh, bishop takes uh, d7 queen takes d7 and now queen to d2 attacking the knight the knight has to retreat uh, you don't have anywhere uh, to to escape with the knight so you have to play knight to g8 again and now we have g4 again you see uh, this is simply a battle now folders for this uh, f5 square this is really the main main strategical idea that black black will try that's why this g4 comes with the idea to uh, simply prevent this idea and now after trading of uh, this light square bishops uh, you see white still has a good position for the knight maybe we could uh, try knight to b5 then attack maybe this d6 weakness so so far white has a good position has a playable position but this g4 although it prevents this idea it's a little bit too rushed because now uh, simply f5 was played anyway uh, by by alexander kotov simply cracking the position we have f3 uh white is trying to build sort of a blockade and now bishop to e7 uh, rook to g1 uh uh, rook to g1 was played by yuri averbach and now we have rook to f8 bring, bring the uh, last piece in the attack we have to activate now all of our pieces we have rook to f1 and now rook to uh, f7 uh, we have g takes f5 after g takes f5 uh, now rook to g2 was played and now uh, comes a very very important move which uh, creates now an important space advantage for black it's to move f4 and this is now really a critical position in the game uh, now what to do here from um, from white's perspective maybe uh, a good idea is somehow maybe push even put the pawn here on h4 bishop to f2 h4 but it's a little bit too late after this move uh, bishop to f2 uh, yuri Auerbach played the move rook to f6 which is a very important move because now the threat is uh, queen takes h3 and after knight to e2 queen takes h3 was played and uh, what to do now uh, of course if you don't take then you get rook to h6 uh, creating some very very dangerous threats so here uh, yuri uh, pardon me alexander kotov sacrificed the queen for pawn after uh, queen takes h3 we have king takes h3 and look at this king this king is really endangered here doesn't have any squares to escape here after rook to h6 we have king to g4 and look at this king this king is uh, marching towards uh, the black's position to marching towards the other side of the board and of course this will be a very very cool um, uh, king hunt that alexander koltov has prepared here with a great windmill chess tactic here after knight to f6 you see the pieces now really dancing now around uh white's king king to f5 is the only uh, square basically where you can escape knight to d7 again with the preparation to play a rook to f8 um creating again a very important check for instance if you try now let's see if you try here knight takes f4 in order to create some kind of a breeding space then you get rook to f8 and uh, this will leads now into a very very complicated uh, ch checkmate a sequence after king to g4 we have rook to g8 again uh, this will be a possible continuation you have to play uh, knight to g6 uh, after rook takes g6 you see you will have maybe uh, king to f5 but now rook to h5 you have to bring something in between but now bishop takes g5 attacking the queen uh, for instance if you escape with the king then you get bishop to f4 uh, here uh, again a very important check after uh, king takes rook and h5 then we have knight to f6 and you have only one square again this square h4 and now rook to h6 checkmate so you see uh, i'm not sure of if caught of saw all of this uh, all of these tactics but uh, this was really an endangered king it's really easy to find the best next attacking moves so that's why uh, it's instead of this knight to f4 idea uh, rook to g5 was played something uh, bringing some um, somehow uh, some uh, just some other defenders around white's king but it's again too late because we have now again the same idea uh, 
the rook to f8 you have again only one square uh, to escape the square uh, on g4 we have uh, knight to f6 again you have uh, base only one square it's the square uh, on f5 and now we have a very nice windmill as i said knight to g8 again the discovered attack the king has again only one square knight to f6 was played or king to f5 and now knight to d5 again the discovered attack after king to g4 knight to f6 and here probably uh, yuri Auerbach hoped for a draw but here after king to f5 we have knight to g8 again king to g4 and now knight to f6 again we have king to f5 and now again repeating moves but now after uh, king to g4 we have finally bishop takes g5 and uh, what to do now there are now again the threats uh, to again to play this move knight to f6 then bring also this other rook on the g file creating some dangerous checkmate threats on the g and the h file so that's why king to g5 was played anyway but now rook to f7 preparing finally this move uh, rook to g7 and then after that rook to f6 leads into a checkmate so that's why uh, here bishop to h4 was played bringing again uh, another defender you see this windmill tactic is really a beautiful one uh, white just gives up more pieces in order to get some kind of a defender but it's really helpless here because again rook to g6 you have rook to h5 but now rook to g7 with the idea to play a very very uh, cool checkmate here again on h6 uh, so that's why bishop to g5 had to be played but now uh, here uh, Kotov simply took rook takes g5 and again you don't have basically good squares you have to again uh, go on h4 but now knight to f6 and again the preparation is to play uh, here rook to uh, h5 with a very nice checkmate so that's why knight to g3 had to be played again uh, you have to give up more pieces so it's really a funny funny chess game i think and see simply caught off took rook takes g3 we have queen to d6 and now uh, rook to g6 okay here yuri Auerbach had one check but now after rook to g8 um, in this position yuri Auerbach resigned you have to give up uh, the queen or you get checkmate let's see if you for instance play something like queen to b7 then you get rook to h6 and it's checkmate and it's game over so great great attack uh, by uh, alexander kotov uh, this was really an immortal queen sacrifice queen takes h3 the pawn king takes h3 had to be played and now this very very dangerous attack uh, with this uh, very nice harmony of all of these pieces and uh, these rooks and uh, as i said this game i think deserves to be on our best uh, on our list of this best chess games of all time okay uh, at the end of the video uh, i wanted to also thank uh, here pardon me i wanted to thank also then on hanlon uh, for a little bit uh, for a little contribution to my channel on paypal thank you very much uh, he wrote also to me i learned a lot from your videos your recent video about attacking the fianchetto was excellent and he talked to me a lot thank you very much don on hanlon so uh, again don uh, thank you for your uh, little contribution to my channel uh, you can uh, as i said support my channel and you can also uh, watch my other commented chess games the best chess games of all times with some more great queen sacrifices rook sacrifices and all of this beautiful moment uh, elements of the chess game and you can also uh, watch my commented chess games play by computers uh, with some games by alpha zero lila zero and many many more and you can also subscribe to my channel if you like this content thank you for watching guys and uh, chess is the best of course